to the point where every body of water, it's like, yo, that looks nuts. So, it's mid-November, and everything's good right now. There's a multitude of things that Johnny and I could have done today to get on a bite. A lot of things that we've done in the past, especially on the tracker. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've been going to some lakes recently that have been stacked, and the water was warmer. Now, with this recent cold front we've had, it's 37 out right now. We've had a lot of high Is 20s. It that cold out? Yeah, we've had a lot of high 20s, low 30s at night too. So fish are getting in a way more blade bait like state we just start fishing off the tracker all the time and there's only a certain amount of places that we can legitimately launch and know we're gonna get on fish in Jersey but we didn't realize how much the state has to offer that you just need to be a little bit more adventurous to access that's usually done by foot so we really just have lost touch with that part of ourselves so I'm super excited to get out here and like really see what we can find and I would say, if I'm being honest, that complacency in fishing on the tracker a lot is really what originally caused me to sort of stop posting on this channel for a little bit. I was going to the same places, learning new techniques, but it became a situation where, you know, I'm going to the same spot all the time. I'm creatively in a weird space because what gets me really juiced up to make these videos and you know, put the end of time editing is when we're exploring new spots, when we have no idea what's gonna happen. Because let's be honest, the craziest stuff happens on those days anyway. Yeah, you could get really dialed on certain spots in Jersey and then end up doing better and better at those places because you kind of know what's going on. But at a certain point, you just gotta be like, okay, we're good here. Let's see what else there is. You know, and oh my, like, look at that. What even is that? We have absolutely no idea where we're going. We have a couple pinpoints on Google Maps that we were checking out the night before. And that's all we're going off of right now. The goal is trout, the goal is trout species. But other than that, I can't tell you anything because I don't know anything. It's not to show you where, it's to show you whatever you see today in this video, this is one of a million spots. And we're driving up there in a Jeep with 247,000 miles on it and a tiny box of trout lures. Anyone can do it. This is how you walk to the spot, bro. French toast bagel in hand. All the up and ready to go. All right, so this is Google Map. Oh, God. Oh. Tell people like how easy it was to find something that looks this good in yeah. minutes. Really this time of year, especially with trout fishing, we're kind of looking for some runoffs from cold water sources, like whether that's public reservoirs or big deep lakes. And so really all I was looking for here, some sort of tributary that connects two major bodies of cold water. See if we could find some native brookies, some wild browns hold over stocked fish that are going to survive but also have enough running water this isn't going to freeze over there'll be some deep pools maybe some smallmouth anything can happen this kind of stuff. there you have it i don't know this definitely looks good this part looks shallow right here yeah, right here you want to walk up in the woods so we get to some deeper pool yeah, I figured up here it started looking good because there's more rocks. I feel like this is kind of that flat that connects the river to the... Yep. All right, let's move in the woods. It looks really promising already. Yes. Beautiful. Blue marks, dude. Look at that fish. Let's get this release. We haven't even got to the juice yet. Did it pretty well. I like that we're throwing. Oh, did you see that? No. Nailed. 
Oh. Nailed. Oh my god. Nailed, it's a... bro. Saw him clap too, same size. <laughs> we should hit this pool for a couple minutes. It's just pretty good. It's funny, you know, I haven't gotten any bites on the jerk bait. It's so important when you're fishing with someone else to start with two different things. If you're on a body of water you're not familiar with. Yeah, I've got nailed Because we've pretty much already determined that spinner this is going right to be now. a spinner bite for this section. Keep moving until you get dialed. Yes. Yeah, no, right right now we're in that. Oh, got him. Big one. Oh, no. Big. It was huge. I wasn't ready. I can't believe I, I can't believe that just happened. So what I was saying is we're kind of in the trolling motor on a hundred phase right now. We're trying to work spots quickly, get dialed on some kind of bite, some kind of pattern. And as I was saying that, at least a 20 inch brown nails my spinner. Didn't have time to react, got off, but just gotta keep going. Yes, big. What is it? Brown. Yes. It's a good one. Dude, it's a good one. It's a good brown. It's incredible. Oh! oh. Oh god, fat. oh god, I'm double, double, double. Hang on. You recording? Yep. Am I? Look. Yeah. <laughs> Look at these brown trout. Look at that. Look at Yo, the bait. You... Look at the bait. Oh my god, they're just feasting. Gorging. You might want to throw the jerk bait here. Were we at five trout? I think so. I caught. I've landed one. I've landed three. Lost that twenty incher. Missed three more. Yeah, you had another hit. Had a hit here. Had a hit back there. Wow. Probably. When you get to this point, you know you've been fishing too much. So, okay, hang on. Let me just preface by saying I looked over and I see Johnny putting leaves over his bag. So yes, he does need an explanation, Johnny. Continue. Well, a bunch of my good baits, unfortunately, spilled out of my bag. Because of course I don't have a tackle box. I fish too much for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, these hooks are protruding into my back with every step. So, you know, we're gonna try and fix that. I Please. think this is smart. Leaves. I just rub them until they hook themselves. Yup. Ah, like, I think that'll work, honestly. You're, you don't need to buy anything. Yeah. Let's see. Nature's hook protectant. Look. Look at that. That's a full buffer. That's gonna work. It's gonna work. Because as long as the barb doesn't get me, I'm cool with, like, the end sticking into me, you know? It's, I gotta just cover up that bar. So that'll work. No more barbs in Johnny's bag. Leaves. Let's get going. I'm fucking ready to fish. Almost. Ow! This is something that has been forgotten on many trips and led to many scary situations. Water? Yes. This is the most water we've ever brought. I think with the low flows, this jerk bait's a little too aggressive. I think we come back after it rain, that'll be a great thing. Yep. Do we cross? 
Got him. Big one. Big. Good fish, dude. So that right there was a rather unfortunate theme of the day for me, losing the good bites. They actually weren't even really getting the bait good. And as we walked further and further up this stretch, we realized how low the flows actually were. That definitely had an impact on how the fish were eating the bait that day. Yeah, and this is a hard spot to hike around in. So basically once we got to the end, you'll sort of see where this culminates into a big waterfall and it's a really cool spot to fish. But at the same time, as you can see there, there's really nowhere else for us to go. So yeah, steep cliffs, didn't really feel like swimming in waders. Decided to leave this spot, head back on Google Maps and find the next one. This is how you get to untouched fish. How much further you gotta do? Oh no. Kinda opens up a little. Fucking ready bush this shit. So this area is not looking like it has the floats that we're looking for. It's a big, slow-moving pool. We're gonna have to make a decision if we actually fish here. Yo, look at that, look at that. Big eagle. I feel like we would have seen one by now. Got him? Yes. First one at spot number two. We weren't liking how the flows were looking up there. But once we got to this area, yeah, that's a beautiful trout. It's a nice fish, dude. Wild brown. Nice, dude. All right, well, we know they're here. Thank you for proving that. He's nice. Yo, he's nice. Huh? Not bad. That's a good one, dude. So that was the last brown we would see for the rest of the trip. We were running a little bit late on time. Low light, had to get out of there soon. Wasn't the last trout we would see though. We stumbled across one last spot. It was this little pool beneath the bridge and found a ton of wild brook trout. Nothing sizable, but beautiful fish nevertheless. And it was a great way to end the day. Jimmy Page, man. Oh, stop, bro. <laughs> oh, I don't want you to see this just the closing statement. I think that says enough. That will work. I mean, so question, do we have to cross that? Whoa. Works. Did you say for us? 